Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we had a bit of trouble fighting these enemies here, so... This time I'm gonna hopefully figure this out properly. And go a little bit all out, possibly. Just because I'm angry at them, so... I have a level 50 edge of duality thing. That's a double-edged weapon though, so... I have to be careful how I use it. And I think I'll try using a bit more bombs to blot things. Maybe even knock a few things over the edge. Ow! Oh my goodness, stop just poking me! Oh my goodness! I'm just... You don't even let me do anything, you just stab me. Oh my gosh. And I'm running out of good meals that work well for me right now. Take that. Please go off the edge. Nope. I almost got the black one over the edge. Okay, take that. Nope. Really? Oh, he's got ice arrows as well. Okay, just back up a little bit. Back up and go up this tower to fight more. As long as they don't know what they're doing, <laughs> then I'm fine? Question mark? Oh my gosh, okay. I think I need to defend myself more. Use my sh Hold my shield up so they don't attack me. I always seem to bring out my sword at the wrong time. Like that. I just attack at the wrong time and everything goes wrong. Oh, goodbye. No? Okay, then goodbye. Oh my goodness, it's lightning storm as well! All my weapons are just gonna zap me with electricity. I think I'm good for that. My shield is also fine, apparently. This particular one. Oh my goodness. At least they're gonna get zapped by lightning. Oh my goodness. Oh my- Ah. <laughs> What is it about this specific group of enemies that is ruining everything for me? You know what, I figured it out. They're just annoying. So I'm gonna climb up this cliff face instead. Because you don't even need to fight them and it's just annoying. So I'm just gonna abandon that and look, rush room! This is, this is the path, this is the way, this is destiny. Because there's a rush room. <laughs> I might be slightly losing my mind right now. Have I taken a picture of rush room? No, I've not. And that's probably a good thing to track, sir. So. Since that is the path, the destiny of the hero is rush room. They thought Mario was crazy. <sighs> okay. Anyway, we've made it to the tower. So now, it's just smooth riding from here. Laneru Tower. Finally, no more enemies to deal with all the time. Ah, so much better just to ignore all the enemies because they don't even matter. They might beat me, but I can still ignore them. <laughs> so, and I just remembered it's a lightning storm, so I'm going to change my gear so I don't get zapped by lightning. I think I'm good now. There's also a shrine over there. Where is that? That's just further up to regions over that way, so. If you have something that's going to be struck by lightning, it will also spark while you're just walking around during a lightning storm, so. Let me go over here for a rest. And let's mark that shrine onto our map. Way up north. Uh, sword icon, there we go. And I think I can actually see... No, that's just lava. Easily t confused. Easily t easily to confusable. Since it looks orange and glows and all that stuff that everything else seems to do. Okay. 
Okay, just get up there. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Is that a shrine that I've done before? Or is that something else? That looks like a new shrine. Yeah. Let's change that to that, I suppose. It's always good to just look around when you're on a tower. Just to make sure you get shrines marked down. Okay. I almost made it to the top. I almost don't have to worry about anything anymore. Just go up a little bit more. No! That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But also, it's probably going to be good because... I don't know if I want a lightning storm while I'm trying to activate this. Also, I probably don't want to jump while I'm doing that. Let me get that so it makes me climb faster. I wonder if it makes you climb faster but uses more stamina. That wouldn't make sense. I think it just means you can climb faster. And hold more stamina. That makes more sense. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Anyway. We've made it. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and activate this tower. There we go. There's also a Zora over here saying it's so high up. Wow! I cannot believe it! Oh. Ahem. Excuse me. Yes, you. I am Groove. Groove? Grove? Of the Zora. Oh. It is important, uh, and it is apparent that you are a traveler. But may I ask what brought you here? I could ask the same thing. Hmm? How very astute of you. An excellent query, of course. Indeed. I, by order of Prince Sardon of Zora's domain, am searching for a Hylian, or I was, but then I fell asleep. I woke, I woke to a loud noise and awful quaking, and now I, here I am. I'd like to get down and be on my way, but I'm simply too high up. I need to figure something out. Prince Sardon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you, you are a Hylian, yes? Well then, my luck is improving. Oh hey, shrine! Prince Island, I found one! I found a Hylian! Hmm, Prince Island doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I should uh, swallow my fear and jump to, f to the river below, but then I could return to him. Uh, he must be worried sick. Nope, nope. Can't do it. Too high up. I'm li I'll likely meet the gods or the of the ever after but before I ever see Prince Sidon again. Mr. Highland, I must apologize. It'll be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. Why, wow, you've probably been here since we started our journey. So, um, do you like f do you like fish? That's probably not the right thing to ask to ask Kazora. Anyway, let's head down to this uh, shrine down here since it's right there. And then we can probably keep going on towards Zora's domain since we're very close now. And it's one of the four areas we're supposed to go to for our main story mission. Um, a Hylian? Wow, Zora. It's crazy. Oh my, how wonderful. You are a Hylian, yes? Yes, I am. Perfect. It must be my lucky day. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> I apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. I am Tof Feru of the, of the Zora. I have been searching for a Hylian like you for a very long time. 
My home, Zora's domain, is in trouble. A uh, terrible danger. That is why Prince Sardan sent me in search of a strong Hylian warrior. Oh. Prince Sardan is waiting at Inogo Bridge. Would you please talk to the prince and perhaps save us all? We would ever be ever so grateful. We're so close now, but I'm still so far away. Basically, I just get so sidetracked. Okay, let's see what's here. A minor test of strength. Also, I think these guardians are actually a different color. I think they're more orange and blue rather than red. Which is interesting. So I think they're more just sit here by the Sheikah to test me. Oh, he's gonna charge at me. That's what that means. So be careful about that. Just hide behind one of the rocks and he'll get stunned enough for you to attack him. Now I might actually use my sledgehammer since that's fairly easy to use. Let me get behind one of the rocks. Let's do that. Very nice. Oh, he's going into a panic mode, which means... No, he's not going into panic mode. Maybe now he's going into panic mode. But once you've taken an out enough of his health, he's gonna start changing his pattern. Where he's just gonna do different things. I think it's... it's ow, 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 ow! Oh my goodness! Okay, well, let's eat something. When he's using his laser on the ground, though, you can actually, um use your paraglider to go up. Now. Oh, don't do that. Oh my goodness. Th I think one is under 100 health. Oh, backflip, 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 back for no pain. When he, when you are uh, gliding above him, you can probably um, drop bombs on him. And that'll be fairly efficient. Okay. I think he's going into panic mode now. Nope. Okay, there we go. Let's get out our bombs. Making sure I'm not too close when it explodes. Ow! Did that not hurt him? Oh, it did, but it was just not much. Okay, is he actually going to go into panic mode? They usually have a panic mode. Okay, now he's going into panic mode. Where they just charge up their beam and then shoot you, but they usually do it sooner than that. But the reason I say that is because we're going to see a lot more challenges that are basically this exact thing, but in different difficulty settings, basically. This is a mi only a minor test of strength. There's a lot more that we'll have in the future. Anyway, Guardian Shield. Very important item. For more than one reason. Let me actually take a closer look at it. Yeah, just looking at it, it's very cool. Guardian Shield, a shield made with ancient Sheikah technology. It can deflect a Guardian Scout Beam. Scout's Beam. So very cool. You want to actually take note of the way the shield, Guardian Shield looks because... Yeah. I, I don't want to say too much more. Anyway. Let's open this and get Knight's Bow. The sturdy metal construction of this bow offers superior durability while it, its lack of firing uh, quirks make it makes it be quite reliable. Once favored by the Knights of Hyrule Castle. I need... I wish you could swap out items while you were... Inventory was full, but you can't for some reason, which is weird. Anyway, let's get rid of that because that's absolute trash. Well, let's open this. Again. Or at least being able to drop it on the ground after opening the chest would be good. Anyway, we have all the treasure in this shrine now.
Okay. We're so close now. So close. Just a little further. What just shot at me? Say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. <coughs> Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Aha! Ah. Uh -huh. A Hylian! Yes, I knew it! Oh, pardon me. I am Sidon, the Zora Prince. And what is your name? Go on, please tell me. Link. Your name is Link? What a fantastic name! Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it's a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians, correct? Uh, I'm... yes, that's, that's me. Aha, just as I suspected. I am a Zora Prince. After all, I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Yes, exquisite. I have been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of a massive rainfall coming from Divine Beast Varuta. Please, promise you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you play? please come to Zora's Domain with me? I'll, th I'll think about it, sure thing. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's Domain will be saved for certain, no time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the Domain, you will ha need to go straight along the path. As a Hylian, I know you are unab unable to swim up the river. As such, the path to the main it may be a bit treacherous. You likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that attack with electricity. Don't give up. I believe in you. Oh, that's right. I have something that would I would like to give to you. This is just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Electro Elixir grants a mid-level resistance to electricity. Useful against enemies with electrical attacks. It is a drink that will increase your resistance to electricity. I am not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work for Zora. Perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. It should work wonders for you though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there is not anything strange uh, uh, going on where you are headed. I'm counting on you. Well, there we go. Reach Sora's domain as a quest has now begun. So we're going to start doing that. It's... We're, we're fairly close to the domain, but we've also got all of this to go through, so it's gonna be a little bit yet before we actually make it to the domain. Also, we have monsters on that path, so but we can probably just run past most of it. Just go, just go, Link. Just go. Also, the Zalfos can send electricity into you, so be careful about that. Luckily, there's a fair bit of Zap Shroom, so we can actually make our own Electro Elixir if we need it. Dock rocks in the water are also a problem, so I'm just going to avoid them. There's so much stuff everywhere. Gonna go grab his parts, I guess. And I actually might just take out this one. This one. Octorox, we can have a look at its parts. Octo Balloon. This inflatable Octorox organ has a lot of lift, so attach it to items you want to see float. Hold it in your hands, and then place it on the object to attach it. What? What? 
I don't think I realize that. Octrock Eyeball. This can only be ob obtained from an Octrock type enemy. You can sell it to a store or you can make el elixirs with it. But it may have, have other uses as well. There's a lot of this about this game that I don't think I've ever known about, so. Lots of things I'd like to learn. Anyway, let's just continue up this way. There are some boxes that we can also break that look like this. Ow! I'm good at this whole, you know, this, this entire thing. I'm just good at blowing myself up, just everything, really. Please stop shooting at me. Oh my goodness, Octorox. I'm going to take that Traveler's Sword with me. Anyway, let's keep going. Can you even get me from there? Oh, you really can. You really can. I was very skeptical of you getting me, but then you jumped right at me. Zora's domain ahead. Okay. I think that's a luminous stone deposit, possibly. I think there's a few around here that we can get if we wanted. But anyway. Oh my goodness, Octorock, really? Oh my goodness, two Octorock. Oh, I missed. There we go. What stuff is there? Let's have a look. Oh, get up please. Mighty Carp. This fresh water fish lives alongside its less mighty carp il ilk. A compound in its river protects muscle growth. Dishes cooked with it will tempor temporarily increase your attack, attack power. Armoured carp, calcium deposits in this its scales of this ancient fish make it make them as hard as armor. Cooking it into a dish will fortify your bones, temporarily increasing your defense. Okay, that's cool. Let me no, don't drop why? Why? Can I not even freeze that? Oh my goodness. Grab all that, I guess. And I can't climb out of there. No, I can. What is cap why? Just why? Okay, let's take a picture of this mighty carp. And possibly... This hearty bass. Whoa, hearty, hearty bass? That means good food. Hearty bass. This large fish lives near the shoreline. Its sizable body can store a, up, store a lot of nutrients. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your maximum hearts. And also give you full restore. Full Restore is just the most overpowered thing, so I don't know why the game doesn't even talk about it that much. But anyway, I think that's probably it for this episode of The Legends Out of Breath of the Wild, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.